uh, game recap and predictions for week number 10. So, our record, including this week, is 24 and 14. That's not great. We only won one game, which is disappointing. In fact, our one game that we won was the game that I said that the Patriots were going to beat the Panthers, which we'll get into. But if you count last Monday night game, the last Monday night game when the Chiefs faced the Giants, I'm 24 and 14. The Chiefs had beat in last, on Monday night of week 8. The Chiefs beat the Giants 20-17. To me, the, the Chiefs made so many mistakes, they should have been way ahead, and they only win by three. It's very concerning if you're a Chiefs fan. Heading into week number nine, the Broncos had beat the Cowboys 30 to 16. Really, the game wasn't that close. The game was 30 to 0. The Cowboys could never get it going. Amari Cooper was dropping passes. Dak Prescott didn't seem completely right. I know ESPN's going to try and blame this on the calf again. He, his calf was fine. He, he actually ran. It's not the problem. But it was just guys dropping passes. He was off the mark a few times, and they couldn't run the ball. You're not going to win a lot of games. And your defense could not get off the field on third down. They were good at that the whole year. They were good at stopping the run, and they were good on third down. They could not get off the field, and they ended up giving, letting the Broncos rush all over them for a total of 190 yards. They did get four sacks, but it's very concerning if you're a Cowboys fan like I am. If your team can't beat a team that you, you should win. And where you can't get on the money at on anything. There's two times that we could have scored a touchdown with C.D. Lamb on a deep ball. And he, Dak missed them both. Which he normally doesn't miss those throws. Then there's the, the block punt that could have changed the whole game. That ended up touching Nashawn Wright near or on the... Line of scrimmage, which they counted as a fumble, a muff punt. The Broncos didn't even get the first down when they recovered it. It makes no sense to me. That rule, you should, even if it's a muff, as it passes the line of scrimmage, it, you should still have to get the first down. You didn't even get to the first down. So I think a lot of this was the offense was not doing a whole lot. The defense was able to stick with it the whole beginning of the game, and then they just, it was, they didn't have enough energy to really bring it together. The game that I actually said we that was going to happen and won, the Patriots beat the Panthers 24-6. to Sam Donald did not look good in this game. Three interceptions, come on. I mean, and I understand they wanted to play him again, but it's like, it's not working. Would not be surprised if the Panthers decide to go in another direction when the offseason arrives. The Giants beat the Raiders 23-16. I, again, the Raiders looked good. They were hot. They played well during when they lost John Gruden. There's not much I can say. You only lost by seven, so it's not much of a big deal. But you still got to figure out where, what went wrong in that game. Chiefs versus, the Chiefs beat the Packers 13-7. to That was with Jordan Love. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers had COVID. He could not perform. But the Chiefs got, you got to be, if you score one touchdown, and all you can do in the rest of the game is score two field goals, come on. Come on. And the, that's not even the good thing. It really could have been ten to seven, because the because King Kevin King dropped the ball. He had an interception. He jumped it perfectly. He did everything right. And he just dropped it. He was laying out for it, and he just dropped it. It's like, man, come on. Now Jordan Love did not play great, but the Chiefs played awful. And I think that's a concerning factor for when you can only beat Daniel Jones by three and you can only beat Jordan Love in his first career start by six. 
The Titans beat the Rams 20-16. to The Rams, it took 59 minutes and roughly 20 seconds to score a touchdown in this game. That's the fact. Matthew Stafford threw two picks. The defensive line was all over him. He struggled immensely. He ended up rolling his ankle, which I thought was going to be really bad. It might not be too bad. We don't know on the definite about that. We will know sooner rather than later, hopefully. But if they lose him, it's it's they're going to completely lose the identity of this offense because they throw a lot of passes. They threw, I think yesterday they threw 46 passes. You need him. You desperately need him. But back to the Cowboys team. When you, the Dallas Cowboys, the whole team played bad. I can't say, coaching, playing, everything was bad. Now, is this like the coach cliche of let's bury the game film? I'm not sure, but you got to figure out something. Dak Prescott said, we stunk in this game. We don't want to feel this feeling again. we got to get better. There's no reason we should have lost this game. This is inexcusable, which is true. Absolutely true, 100%. But when you can't run the ball... You can't catch the ball. You can't really play great defense because your defense is exhausted because they're being on 13 play drives to go eight minutes, and it's like, what are we supposed to do? The guys, they couldn't even tackle. That was how bad it is. Javante Williams was stuck before the first down, and no one, t the Cowboys didn't tackle him. They just kind of stood him up there waiting for the whistle to blow. The whistle never blew. So they never called the play dead, So and they just kept Devontae Williams up, and he just took off another 20 yards. What do you want us to do? Bad penalties. The Cowboys tried to force stuff, and they, they couldn't. You can't play that way. Now, entering the last game, because I did say that Steelers versus Brown, the Steelers versus Bears, last week, they ended up playing tonight. Steelers are favored by seven now. I still have the Steelers. I don't think the Bears are good enough to win this game. The Steelers' defense has been playing amazing in the last few weeks. So I, I take the Steelers to win. I think Justin Fields will put up a fight, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think the Steelers are going to win. It scores 28-21. Entering to week number 10, the, Cow the Falcons face the Cowboys. The Cowboys are favored by 9. The Falcons have won. Had beat New Orleans yesterday. The Cowboys coming off a humiliating loss to the Broncos. The Cowboys have to get this going. They have to get it going early and often. Dak said it in his press comments. We got to be better. We got to start faster. We're starting way too slow. We're not going to win a lot of games if we do this. We need, because as I said before, you're now playing, you're, you're most likely going to make the playoffs. No one else in this division is really going to do anything. You're going to make the playoffs most likely. You need to find a way to score faster in terms of play faster, play more aggressive, and stop trying to force your defense to, have to make all the plays for you. So if you have a slow start, this doesn't happen again. Covers are favored by nine. I won't be surprised if this is bet down because after the loss, it most likely will be. No Kelvin Ridley. He's gonna. Be, he's on the non-football, a non-injury football list. So you really gotta focus on how can we stop this Falcons team. I think the Cowboys can do it. I think they'll get back on track. Michael Gallup is expected to return, and hopefully Demarcus Lawrence does as well. And I would not be surprised if the Cowboys go and they start talking to some guys on the street on, hey. Like, Gene Arkins, hey, would you come and play for us? Because we can't stop the run at this point. We don't know when Neville Gallimore is coming back. We don't know when Brent Urban is coming back. We need someone that can do this. So I'm going to have the Cowboys win. Score. It's going to be a pretty good game, actually, in my mind. The Cowboys are going to win 34-24. to 24. Browns versus Patriots. Patriots are favored by two. To me... I don't know if the Patriots can win this game. This is going to be a tough opponent. 
that you normally take away your best thing, but this is the run game. Can you stop the run game? But I'm going to take the Patriots in this one. I think the Patriots can win this game. However, it's going to be a wild game. But to me, the Patriots can win this game. They can. But if Cleveland shows up like they did against Cincinnati, they won't. They can't get boat race. Patriots have to win this game, in my mind. And they can if they can keep the offense, the Browns offense off the field. Patriots, in my mind, will win this game. Scores are going to be 24-17. Bucks versus Washington. Washington favorite getting plus nine and a half. Bucks are going to win. It's not going to be close. Washington football team has no offense. Bucks are going to win. The score is going to be 28-14. Chiefs versus Raiders. Raiders are getting plus two and a half. Raiders are going to win this game. I don't think the Chiefs are very good, especially if they get Deshaun Jackson. Raiders are going to win. The score is going to be 28-21. Final game. Lions versus Steelers. Steelers are getting nine points. This is a game I think it's going to be a good game. Competitive, more competitive than a lot. I don't even think the Steelers are going to get nine, actually. I think the Lions will cover, but I think Steelers can win this game. Score is going to be 24 21.